brilliant okay so this week on my wednesday wisdom um i have the amazing amanda uh yoga amazing expert so i've known amanda for quite a while now and been to her yoga classes and her amazing um yoga retreats on St. Mary's Lighthouse, another one coming up, which I cannot wait to attend. Um, but this week we've been talking about stress, what it is, but more importantly, how to reduce it. And I think I mentioned on the video on Monday that one of the things that reduces stress is exercise, yoga, meditation. Um, so I thought, let's get Amanda on and she can talk about what she does and how it helps to reduce stress. So hi, Amanda, and welcome to our Hello. Wednesday Wisdom. <laughs> okay, it's a big lot of things to talk about. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I teach um, a, a form of yoga called Drew Yoga, and one of the things that is special about Drew is it, it's a very flowing form of movement and one of the sort of cornerstones of the Drew system or the theory behind Drew is that uh, stress emerges, manifests in the body by sort of locking itself within the body. So quite often people um, come to yoga with stiff joints, stiff shoulders, stiff back, literally pains in their neck, carrying mm -hmm. the weight of the world on their shoulders. And Drew is built around a series of sequences called energy block releases, and they're designed to remove that energy from the joints and just let it wash away so you can learn to go with the flow. So it eases out the shoulders if you're carrying the weight of the world on the shoulders, it just lets it wash away. It's, um, all the movements come from a smooth and resilient spinal movement, and it just helps your body flow so much better. So Drew is based around a series of energy block releases. The theory being, if you don't, um, if you just allow the stress to build up within your body, then it sort of embeds itself deeper. Those joint pains become chronic, long lasting, and the stress then sort of finds its way deeper into the body, into the organs of the body, eventually manifesting in diseases or mm. diseases of the body systems. Yeah. I know. In a nutshell, that's very yeah, well, that was very, very clear and concise. But I think, I think that's kind of what I've really been trying to get across to people this week. And I'm, I'm always banging on about stress, but I think it's really underrated. And you know, we we do need to work at keeping an eye on it, don't we? Definitely, stress is implicated in virtually everything it's a major risk factor for virtually every disease mm. because as, as we know stress isn't just that um mental thing the stress of going to work a time-based mm. stress stress covers a whole range of things that impact your body from stressor stressors for your body can be the air that you breathe radiation mm -hmm. it can be too much sunlight too much exercise not enough sleep alcohol drugs the, the things that you listen to can cause stress in your body and they all have an impact on your body systems, the body cells, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And that stress, if it's not dealt with and removed, will be a risk factor mm -hmm. for this ease, discomfort, dis ease. Yeah, absolutely. And how your body responds to that stress is, well, there's, mm -hmm. there's it's multifactorial, how your body deals with deals with that stress if it, if it builds up in your body and it gets to a crisis point that stress will manifest in a disease mm. i know and it sounds really scary when we put it like that but that, that's mm. what we're talking about um i i know for me um a real signal for me that i'm stressed is i get that a pain in my lower back or my hips mm -hmm. um and I found out a long time ago that that's where I held a lot of my stress. Um, and it's an indicator to me when I feel a bit of lower back pain, I'm like, right, I need to do something. I'm, I'm, there's too much stress in my body. It's good um, that you're aware. Hips, lower back, shoulders, mm -hmm. and this joint here all are really big collectors of stress. Mm, definitely. So what the, the sort of people that come to your class because i'm doing a bit of kind of research on this because when i've i don't know if you agree but when i've talked to younger people um 
about stress, it seems like that's something that really kind of they're just like, well, they just seem to live with it or it just jumps off their shoulder or they just don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. But then when we do start to listen, it's when we get to those crisis points. Do you think, do you agree? Totally. <laughs> I often tell the story of when I was, um, you know, as you know, I spent 30 years being a dentist. Now you can bang on as much as you like about mm. telling people to brush and floss their teeth. And over the years, people come to you and they, they want their teeth fixed. Mm. They have fillings, they have root fillings, they have their gums sorted. And you can tell them as many times as you like that they've got to brush and floss their teeth. And mm -hmm. they do nothing, they have their teeth out left, right, and center. It's only when they get having about three teeth left that mm. they start to go, I what have. do I do? How can I save these three teeth? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 24 teeth ago might have been an idea, right? But it is mm. what it is. Mm. Young people think they're never going to get old. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tiny <laughs> oh. Do you remember being, like, I remember being 17 and thinking about the millennium. I'm thinking, gosh, by the time that comes around, I'll be way too old to even think about yes. that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Young people are, are just resilient. They are, they yeah. are resilient. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's good. And we're not one to ever want to carry a load of worry around about, yeah. about illness or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that um, people also when they think about looking after themselves, think it's something really difficult. Mm -hmm. And what I've certainly learned over the past few years is it doesn't have to be. Looking after yourself can be something really pleasurable and, mm -hmm. you know, nice to do. It's literally just lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I always pin the, the, three, uh, life, the, the three lifestyle no, not three, three aspects of mm. things that you need to do to look after yourself. The first being diet, and I don't mean just what you eat, mm. the quality of what you eat. Um, I mean, what you're drinking, the, uh, any other things, drugs, air quality, water quality, the mm. air that you breathe, the sounds that you listen to, all of those things are inputs and they mm -hmm. need to be right. And it's really not that hard to make mm -hmm. better choices and to supplement those choices if need be. Mm. Second is lifestyle and there you're on to your exercise, your high intensity exercise, your yoga, your uh, to making time to, to meditate, to sleep properly, to follow circadian rhythms, both in the daytime, follow the seasons. Mm. Those are lifestyle choices that to be fair, you feel better when you do them. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's common sense. And thirdly, and this is something that both you and I work on a lot, mindset. Mm. If you think you can, you will. You and will. if you think you can't, you won't. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, it is. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be difficult. Mm -mm. Um, and it's built up to this thing where it's, you know, something else to do and it isn't. It's just blending it in yeah. with your with your life. What brought just you just making to... better choices? Yeah, yeah. What brought you to yoga from being a, a dentist? <laughs> 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 I had done 30 years in dentistry by the time, dentistry by the time, time I came to sell and I realised that I just couldn't take any more. I was that person on the edge. I was living mm -hmm. such a stressed out life. I was getting like five hours sleep. I was constantly stressed out. I, I was feeling really, really ill the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I, I literally couldn't take any more. You yeah. know, it was on the edge of nervous breakdown far too many times. Yeah, uh, I went along to just find out a little bit more about Drew Yoga, one of their taster days. Mm -hmm. And it was my plan to um, go from that day, because I thought this would be easy. I'll just mm -hmm. chill out for a day and I'll go dancing in the night time. So I used to salsa dance on a Saturday, got home, lay down for an hour and I literally couldn't move. Right. And when I spoke to one of the tutors from the class the next day, she said, well, that's obviously your body telling you that this is what you need. Mm -hmm. thought, well, yeah it is what I need and that's mm -hmm. when my study began in earnest and you know suddenly all those things that you've kind of thought all along I've done a lot of sort of personal develop reading it, it all kind of knits together and makes mm -hmm. so much more sense when you kind of live it yeah yes and, and so it's just part of my lifestyle really now yeah so over the um 
the lockdown period, I know that you've been doing online classes. What sort of changed now that we can kind of come out, come out of hiding? <laughs> we can start classes in about four weeks. And I even said this this morning on one of my, on the class. I don't really know how I want to head back into classes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some classes that I will do, but you know I probably won't do that many mm -hmm. of them. Uh, just the ones I really enjoy. So I do yoga for a healthy back which is nice yeah. because it's good to see people come thinking, oh, I can't do this. I just want to get out of pain mm. and actually for them very quickly to become out of pain. It's a very, it's just physical, gentle movements. And that's quite, yeah. that, that's so nice to be able to give that um, gift. Yeah. And then I do another typically Drew yoga class, which is lovely to teach because those are people who um, just want to chill out they kind of mm -hmm. get the things that I'm talking about and that's quite mm -hmm. a pleasure to teach mm -hmm. um, beyond that um, I teach at a gym in Whitley Bay and I'm sure they're going to want me back mm -hmm. and then I've got my lighthouse ones which I just love because it's mm -hmm. it's just such a treat to be on the island and spend a lot of time and chill out quite a bit yeah it's lovely. I can't wait. similarly I can't wait for the next one in uh, in May yeah absolutely i mean you know i've been once before and it's kind of because you go out in the lighthouse for anyone who hasn't been or anyone who's interested we'll go out in the lighthouse um at saint mary's and then the tide comes in or yeah <laughs> or out <Right>. around the <laughs> light <laughs> and we're, <laughs> we're stranded in the lighthouse for until the the path clears again and it's it's a it's a wonderful sensation it's like right you you sort of you have to relax you have to fully embrace this experience because there ain't anything else to do <laughs> um and i thought it, i just really like that aspect of it i'm like right i am i am nobody can get me nobody you know i, I can't go anywhere else i can't you know it's nice um it was a really nice feeling um, and I can't wait for the next one. Uh, so, yeah. So a little bit more of that is helpful, isn't it? That whole um, feeling of being here now to switch mm -hmm. off, to allow yourself to to take time and just be and not think about what has been and what will be or what could be or who could want mm. you. And you don't have to be physically on an island to do that. No, it's something that don't. Is, is one of the benefits of meditating or indeed of, of doing yoga. Now we describe mm -hmm. the style of yoga that... Uh, I teach the Drew Yoga as a meditation and movement because you mm -hmm. have to you move in particular ways and particular patterns and we slow down so as you think about how your body feels so your focus is very inward and very and you have to constantly concentrate on the feeling on your mm -hmm. body on your breathing otherwise it doesn't really happen and yeah. then it becomes the inner focus all on its own mm -hmm. and then I've also been doing a um, meditation course I will teach teaching mm. do meditation as a separate thing as well but that whole feeling of being totally present mm. is um, amazingly stress reducing yeah yes absolutely because right when we're in the present moment we can't we're not thinking about what has been and what could be mm -hmm. what sort of um what sort of things do people say about their stress levels you know when they've been doing their classes with you and yoga and stuff comment that I had the last time um, was that people have felt energized but relaxed mm. at the same time so that mm -hmm. feeling of calm but um, picked up at the same time so if you your stress kind of washes away and that was at um, St Mary's um, mm. Lighthouse because you are in a completely isolated environment but all those stresses just wash away and you become really vibrant at the same time yeah this is nice right? that's that's yeah. what you want <laughs> well exactly that is nice that is what you want because mm. um because when we're stressed we feel really tired i talk to people about this all of the time imagine your brain's working so hard to be stressed <laughs> and it's all of that information going round and round it's quite tiring really that's why we feel tired and when we let some of that go we feel a bit more energy yeah, but as we said, stress isn't 
just manifesting in the brain in terms no. of brain fog or depression or all those slowing down things it can um harbor in any part of your body so you can have those physical pains that chronic fatigue mm. or a specific pain in a different body part mm. and ideally you want to boost your body's ability to remove that stress on a daily basis like yeah. all, all the things that i said about healthy living healthy lifestyle are ways of boosting your body's ability to remove stress as a big thing mm. uh, constantly in other words yeah. boosting your body's immune system when we're just on to you know healthy living again really aren't we exactly. just healthy living how just healthy just healthy living just simple easy you know taking taking the your time to um look after yourself taking some time to rest and stop and exercise and eat well doesn't sound like something too bad does it <laughs> but it, i think it's if, if you just make it something extra that you do then that's where it becomes mm. mature and more difficult yeah. whereas if you yeah. um allow it to just be the way that you are and like um our, our lives are constant if you work in every day you know 52 weeks a year as, as um mm. we've all done then you have to perform on a regular basis you have to whether the sun's shining whether it's raining whether it's snowing whether it's the middle of summer the middle of winter you have to get up go to work do your stuff and go home and there's mm. no room to change with how the seasons are right mm. but if you're if you just stop and look around and in the summer you, you feel you have more energy, you perhaps go to bed a bit later, you've got energy to, to do things in the evening. Mm. But in the winter, don't try and do that. Just switch mm -hmm. off, snuggle up, get home from work, you still gotta go to work probably. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap up in the blanket, put the fire on and just yeah. chill out. Yeah. Because yeah. if you move with the seasons more, then your body will definitely thank you for that. That's a really easy way to do, to do things, isn't it? Go with yeah. the seasons. Go with the seasons, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first stopped working, I'd uh, I'd go for work, a, a walk. Mm. When I stopped doing the dentistry, I'd go for a walk, and I'd walk. I'd for the first time probably ever, I'd notice things like buds appearing on trees, or flowers appearing, or the change of the seasons. Mm. You know what it is to be at work nine to five and not notice those things. It, life just happens around you yeah if you can take just a little bit of time just to notice to go for a walk to slow down mm. and instead of making it a chore and have to do that just mm -hmm. let you, your mind notice it on its own yes that's it it's the mindset <laughs> it is it's the and, and the mindset so if you like you say if you go oh this is going to be really hard oh i'm yeah. really tired and i've got to do this it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna have the same effect is it <laughs> No. Well, the only thing I've had to do recently is um, because I've been trying to fit a, a particular meditation time into my day. Hmm. So I've had to think to myself, right, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Sit down and do that. Is that and it's and I suppose that's reinforced the idea that the the knowledge to me that actually making time to relax to do something for yourself at first probably is an effort you probably have mm. to say okay i'm going to meditate for 15 minutes now or every yeah. morning yeah so i think it's, so it, it becomes just a way of life doesn't it eventually it does mm -hmm. um and i one thing that i sometimes say to people is um you know you've got your diary and you bite your things you know go to this meeting do that whatever it is that you do write do a meditation write you know relax put it in the diary as if it's a you know a task but well you know um and sometimes that helps to implement it and give it the priority i think you're right giving it the priority that it it deserves mm. because yeah. uh, the benefits definitely pay off after a while and then it becomes something that your body sort of appreciates that it needs in mm. the same way that you need your morning coffee or your breakfast yeah. or you, need your lunch. you need to sit down and meditate because you know that that's going to benefit you yeah it's only one thing that i've been doing since lockdown and i will carry on doing is my eight o'clock sessions because mm. i get up in the morning and i have and i do you've been to some of those yeah like 20 25 minutes of um 
a bit of yoga mm. and if I decide to have a week off and then I don't bother to get up and do it myself I feel rubbish really <laughs> yeah I really feel rubbish they um I'm always glad to get back in front of the camera at eight o'clock on a Monday morning mm -hmm. I've had a week off and do it because my body feels so much more uplifted mm -hmm. and it it um it's a mindset thing as well I like to give everybody a really positive and good start to their mm. morning so um that that uplifts me as well exactly so I'll be yeah. carrying on doing that even when people go back to work yeah yeah that would be great <laughs> oh, so Amanda that's been absolutely lovely for you to come and join us on the page today um if anybody wants to find out more where where can they find you where's the best place my Facebook page is Inner Strength Yoga on Facebook. I've got um, Instagram, which is Amanda underscore Inner Strength Yoga. I've got um, a website, which is innerstrengthyoga.co.uk. You'll Great. find me there somewhere. You'll find <laughs> me there. Well, I would highly recommend checking out um, a class. And yeah. two yeah. spaces left for standard in for a few weeks. Oh, fantastic. Well, snap them up if you, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would highly recommend that, a nice treat for yourself. Yeah. Right, well, um, thank you for coming and anytime you wanna come back on, on the page, let us know. Thank you for having me. Have a great See day. You. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.